too. <laughs> All right, for real. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you. I've said uh, something that I'm about to tell you a few times now, and I don't know if everybody in the room knows this, but try and let this land for a second. The night Prince died, April 21st, Lisa and Prince and I, many years prior, on that same night, wrote Sometimes It Snows in April. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, we thought about how we were going to do a tour. <laughs> what we were, what, what was our intention? Why are we doing, what's going on here? Um, and it was because of coincidences like that, that we were compelled to bring this stuff to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I'm going to replace that now. But what has ended up happening for all of us, including the revolution, is that he sits in all of us now. He's, which, he's by which we measure our greatest potential, right? So even when I personally will be recording something completely different than this world, if I'm composing something, I think to myself, is that good enough? Is that something he would like? Right? I'm sure a lot of you in here, if you haven't met him, would think to yourself, I wonder if he'd like me. Right? I'm sure he would. So, um, we're going to sing a song tonight, but we're singing it not because <laughs> it's not that. It, it's that we need to kind of create a place for all of us to land. It's sort of our own little shiva. <laughs> um, and, um, and I think he'd want you guys to take it, really take it back. Okay? So it's going to be so just bear with us. Hey,